Welcome to today's IC Synergy SB Gateway screencast. I'm Martin G, Chief Technologist from IC Synergy and Lead Architect of SB Gateway. In today's screencast, we'll provide an architecture overview and demo of Oracle's new cloud IDAS solution, IDCS. SP Gateway will be used to provide a hybrid architecture to enable Active Directory single sign-on use cases with Oracle eBusiness Suite. Let's start with an architecture overview. The SP Gateway and IDCS components have been configured in a trust model to provide the foundation of this end-to-end -end hybrid security architecture. The AD Bridge component is a lightweight agent that runs on-premise. This agent uses Active Directory as a source of record and will provide basic user lifecycle management functions for IDCS. SP Gateway will be used to provide Active Directory authentication services for both on-network and off-network users. For the on-network users, SP Gateway will provide a seamless authentication experience by using desktop SSO, whereas the off-network users will be prompted for their AD credentials in order to access the EBS system. Now let's start the demo. First, we're going to log into the SP Gateway Administrative Console. As you can see here, we have a topology view where the SP Gateway has been already tethered to our IDCS domain. We'll go verify the IDP setup with our tenant. We can also show that our Kerberos and AD configuration is complete. And finally, we'll show that these applications have been configured, specifically the EBS application. Now we'll transition over to IDCS administrative interface and just show the configuration. We'll first show that there's been a trust between SP Gateway and IDCS. And then we'll show that uh, uh, SP Gateway has been set up as the identity provider for IDCS. And now we'll demonstrate that it's functioning. So here we'll be entering our AD credentials for myself. And we'll be doing a single sign-on into IDCS. Now let's test the use case for an end user that is on network. We're going to log in as our Active Directory user. Gain access to our desktop. We're going to open it on Explorer, and we're going to click our bookmark to go to EBS. And you'll notice here, uh, once we accept this, we're instantly signed on into EBS. Uh, no credentials um, entered by the end users beyond logging into their AD join machine. Now we're going to go uh, as an off-network user by accessing the application via the SP Gateway Admin Console. I'm going to enter AD credentials here and hit login and we'll be single signed on into EBS. Thanks for viewing the screencast today. Please visit our website for more information.